Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Today I'm finally here to film a book haul video. I've acquired quite a few books in this past few months and didn't have an opportunity to show them. Even though I'm planning to buy a lot of books during my vacation in January, I want to show these books now and I don't want to wait. The first book that I bought, I've been anticipating for a quite a while. It's not new, it was out in 2015 I think or maybe at the start of 2016 and I couldn't find it in the bookshops that are available to me so I had to wait. Uh, the book is The Pain Gas by Sarah Waters. If you know me well enough you know that I love Sarah Waters, she's one of my favorite authors and having this book in my hands means a lot to me. I think I've never read any of her books in a physical form for the first time. Also this book is going to be the first one of hers that I'm going to read in English for the first time. All the books that I've read before were translated and I've read them in an ebook form. I think it is a slightly different experience and now I just can hold a book of hers in my hands and read it. I'm just so happy that I found it. And the story is good. I am 58 pages in. I'm very interested to see how the whole plot is going to play out because I really am just at the beginning and I don't know what's going to happen. The next book is The Miniatures by Jesse Barton. It is also a book that I really wanted to acquire for some time. I'm very big on historical fiction in general, but also because of the season. Late fall and winter is great, in my opinion, for reading historical fiction. It follows a girl named Nella in 17th century in Amsterdam. She's marrying a wealthy merchant and starts a new page of her life when she's not just a young girl, but already is a married woman. But this marriage turns out to be unlike she expected. She she is very distant with her husband, they never talk, rarely are in presence of each other, and because of that Johannes is giving her a gift that he thinks is going to connect them. It is the miniature of their house with the replicas of every person that is serving in this house and every person that is living in this house and every piece of furniture. While playing with this house, Nella starts to notice that certain events that are playing out in the miniature are happening in the house as well. So I think this novel is not only going to feature a very interesting age and place, but also that it's going to be positively creepy, which I'm all for. The next book is Life After Life by Kate Atkinson. I don't know much about this book, even though I've heard a lot about it, mostly that people love it. It just attracted my attention for some reason and some people that I respect really love this book, so that's really why I decided to pick it up. What I know about it is scarce, but it will sum up it in two sentences. It is basically about a woman that experiences her life from the start till the end, again, again, and again. I don't know how it works exactly, if she dies and then resurrects, or her life is playing out in alternative universes. Then I have a classic, it's The Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. I'm very excited about this book because it's a big part of pop culture, a lot of TV shows and movies and people are referring to it. And also it's not your usual classical type of story, it's about an adventure. So I really do want to read it. And the last book that I acquired, I've been told to read so many times that I had to just buy the book. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and the book is huge, but I'm still very excited. Because it's an adult fantasy novel, and it's been praised so much on booktube, of course. I really want to dig into it and just read the whole thing. I know that it's a series of books, but I just bought the first one. But actually, I'm predicting that I love it, because it's about magicians and a magical university, so it is my jam. We'll see how it will actually play out, but I have high hopes for this book, certainly. That's all the books that I bought recently. I will certainly have more books to show next year, because, well, yeah, I'm planning a huge spree. I'm not even ashamed of that. I will tell you in future videos where I'm planning to go and why. I'm sure I'm going to buy a lot of books. Thank you for watching this video. Tell me in the comments down below which books you bought recently and you're excited about or which books you took out of the library because it's also valid. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you soon in my next one. Bye!